tucked away in southwest Bloomington. This 25-acre off-leash recreation area is any dog's dream. Big dogs, small dogs, and everything in between are welcome and encouraged to use this site. And while it makes a perfect off-leash play area for now, it was purchased by the city for another reason. That's the future water treatment plant site. And it was sitting vacant and not being used. And so staff working together with a group of residents came up with this idea that let's turn it into an off-leash recreation area. So with the cooperation of, of the utilities department, the park commission, and several of the residents, uh, that we came up with this idea. And it has been absolutely amazing and shocking to us to see actually the amount of use that our off-leash area gets. Dog recreation areas not only offer pets a place to socialize with other dogs, but it in turn gives pet owners a chance to meet and interact. The dogs love it. They love, the, the, it's an opportunity for them to socialize with other dogs, get the exercise that they need, but really the true benefit of it has been for the owners. Um, what's funny is that so many of them know each other by the dog's name, or oh, your Fido's owner or your, you know, Sparky's owner or whatever, um, but what, what's really come to be is that people have found true friendships out there. Boatman says having an off-leash dog recreation area like this one, full of trails, woods, and a large grassy play area, will hopefully lessen the chance of owners letting dogs roam free in other Bloomington parks where that is prohibited. We really were hoping that we could concentrate the use um, uh, so that people could have a legal way to run their dogs off leash. Residents should keep a few things in mind when visiting this area. Your dog must be licensed in the city you live in. You must be within view of your dog and have a leash in hand. And most importantly, clean up after your pet. That is one of our biggest concerns in all of our parks and spe specifically at our off-leash area. Um, dog waste is not fertilizer. Uh, some people believe that it is good, it's natural, it's, it's, uh, it, it, it's okay for the, the land. Um, really, you know, in talking with veterinarians, um, what we have found is that uh, dog waste does carry disease um, and it has an opportunity for, uh, to carry disease and when you concentrate dogs in an area, specifically at the off-leash area, um, you can have a, a case where it's safety and again and health of the animals can be a real concern. Also, bring your plastic bags to share with other pet owners. This cleanup system saves the city thousands of dollars each year. Taking a dog's eye view of the off-leash recreation area at 111th Street and Nesbitt Avenue. Get your pet some interaction and exercise today.